My name's Ashley, and today I'm gonna test some of the most pinned Halloween foods from Pinterest. Every year, Pinterest rounds up their top, most viral pins for the Halloween season, and I picked three of those food items that I'm gonna make today to see if it's really worth it. Do they look really cute? Do they taste really good? And are they practical to make? Now, I am not a chef by any means. I am pretty far from it, but I am an avid pinner. They claim to be like that anybody can make these and you can totally make them and bring them to your next party. I'm gonna see if that's true. <laughs> The first recipe that I'm doing are these pizza skulls. You know pizza rolls that you like make in the microwave? Imagine a really big version of that and it is shaped like a skull. Let's do it. First step is to unroll the pizza dough and press into a five by 10 inch rectangle and cut into six strips. That's not a rectangle. Oh my gosh. What was when all the continents were put together? Pangea, that's kind of what this looks like. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm using the word rectangle loosely here because this is a little blobby, but it's pretty much a rectangle. And now we're gonna cut it into six strips. I was a little skimpy with this last piece of dough. My rationing was a little off. I'm skeptical about the amount of dough it tells you to use because right now these strips are pretty thin. This is actually like a very easy recipe. It's basically just making pizza in this glorified muffin tin. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna fill our pizza skulls. Sprinkle with a little cheese. Like define a little cheese though, you know? Like a little cheese to me is probably a lot of cheese to somebody else. I'm gonna do half of the skulls with meat and half of them without meat. Now I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the skulls with cheese. I'm definitely noting which one is the cheesiest and saving it for myself. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. The skulls have just come out of the oven. The dough looks tasty. They don't look like anything from the backside, so I have to take them out of the mold to see if it actually looks like a skull. Wow! You can't see this, but everyone around me is like, Thank you. Will you try my skull pizza? <laughs> okay, sure. It's really cute. I would be impressed already by the look of it. Woo! Mm. I like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> pizza rolls on hydraulics for Halloween. This is dope. I did notice that the ones with meat in them are much greasier and they're a little bit messier and the skull like doesn't look as clean. So if I did this again, I would probably do just cheese and sauce because these look really neat and crisp. Obviously this goes without saying, but the skull pizza is definitely pinnable. Now on to recipe number two. This is chicken boo dull soup. <laughs> I made bow tie pasta because it's supposed to look like little bats. The next step is to dye the pasta black and we're gonna do that by putting all this pasta in a big Ziploc baggie with a lot of black food coloring and then shaking it around. There we go. Now I'm gonna cut the vegetables into cute little shapes. Cut two shallow lines about one fourth inch apart from each other. Whoa, okay, this blog goes from like peeling and chopping, bam, it's a pumpkin. There are a few visuals that are missing from this. Two shallow lines. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Uh, it's not easy, like at all. <laughs> so I've kind of got the grooves that should create the stem. Hopefully pumpkins will emerge from this, but I don't know, I'll believe it when I see it. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> no, that's so cute, oh my God. Very excited about this. That shit is cute. And then next, I'm gonna cut the celery. And I don't really actually need to do anything because when you chop up celery, it looks like a little moon. Celery is not really looking like moons at all. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh, they're like little pumpkin shapes. Did you cut them? I, I love the black noodles. I'm scared of the noodles. It's hog. The look is cooler than the taste. This way it looks like a mushroom. When you look at this way, it looks like a pumpkin. Chicken boodle soup is pinnable. Now we're on to our third and last recipe, and those are some deviled eggs that are meant to look like little alien eggs. Gently crack the hard-boiled eggs with a knife or by rolling them on the counter. 
I'm gonna try the counter method first. Oh, <laughs> I was like, these are never gonna crack. So now we only have five eggs. I'm afraid I'm gonna put my thumb right through this whole egg. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna try the knife method. Oh, this works. Okay, looking like little dragon eggs. So we boiled our eggs, we cracked our eggs, and now we're gonna color the eggs. Now it's time to peel these eggs and see if all of our hard work paid off and if this really cool pattern is on there. Wow, that is so cool. I'm very happy about this. Now, basically I'm just gonna make deviled eggs. Deviled alien eggs? I love it. These are so pretty. How'd you get that pattern? That is really good. This should be a crowd pleaser. Very in theme, but also taste cream. I would totally eat this at a Halloween party. I'm really happy about it. The deviled alien eggs are definitely pinnable. I have been on Pinterest long enough to know that there is some Pinterest BS being pinned around there, but these totally work. They were super fun to make, they tasted really good, and they look even cooler. What more can you really ask of a Halloween recipe?